All right, next is my Aquarians. Aquarius energy. Ooh, Ten of Swords. So in order to come more in close contact with yourself, we're going to need to evaluate the thought processes in us that are negative, that are limiting, that keep us feeling stuck, the stuff that keeps us feeling othered, okay? This is a typical Aquarius shadow aspect, and I think it's very potent to be bringing this up just right at the tail end of Leo season as we just had an Aquarius full moon where we, we were invited to evaluate the ways in which the shadow of Aquarius and Leo are influencing us. This is basically inviting all my Aquarius angels to look at the ways in which your stories about yourself keep you from really pursuing a deeper level of interfacing with what is going to fulfill you. You know, a lot of times we have visions, especially Aquarius energy that is very revolutionary and very visionary and very forward thinking. You have this ability to, to grasp and, and, and contextualize what is going to be the next thing that really frees humans or the, the next step that we need to take. But there's a sense of that Uranus influence that's always trying to fight against what's here that might cast a dark cloud. If you are using that very mental Aquarius energy, that airy Aquarius energy to think in ways that are destructive and limiting. So some of the trappings of that are I'm too different or no one's, uh, no one's ready for this yet. Or, you know, I'm just ahead of my time. And like my ideas are just too forward. When we claim that, we cast an assumption over the entire world based on our own personal experiences. So we let the black cloud of not being understood in a day, in a week, in a few years of our life color our... We allow that to color our entire experience of the world at large, and this starts forming momentum in thought that is destructive, that ends up serving our limitation instead of our action towards expansion. When all along we have the conscious awareness of where we need to be leaning, all right? But it's through thinking that who you are is, is not enough as you are because you can't see the immediate ways in which your influence or your ideas transform the other. Instead, if you could lean into the idea that your ideas and interfacing with them and pursuing them and expressing them is a way in which you pursue yourself instead of, you know, seeing the fact that you can't get the exact immediate results that you seek out of doing that as a reason why it's not working or a reason and why this world is just full of things that don't work out for you like cast that black cloud aside we're done thinking like that tens are all about the completion of a cycle so this mental pattern of your otherness of your your too ahead of your timeness this needs to be relinquished we need to pull that sword out of our back and start reframing our lives in a new way that really values the cup that we hold, the specific person that we are, and, and moves in honor of it. Instead of limiting ourselves with words, telling ourselves why things can't progress because of ideas, which is really flying in the face of what us, like what Aquarius energy asks of us in the highest vibration, was to keep pushing it forward with how things could be, not being worried about why things aren't that way yet, okay?